Hey everybody, it's your girl the Empress Chanel coming at you with just a random collective. Alright, so um hold on, let me straighten that up. Okay. So um just collective video. I already put out the um messages that were recorded earlier this week and posted to my Patreon. If you're not a patron yet, go ahead up there and get that. That's like five dollars a month. Come on, y'all. Um link is in my description box so i rolled the astrological dice today and this is what i got i didn't do much prep work aside from listening to some music um i got she will by um lil wayne so that you know maybe for the money and the power and the fame right now she will <laughs> so do it for the realest niggas in the fucking game right now she will so i feel like it's like um someone is willing to do anything um you know to get a leg up the astrological dice that i rolled was third house and scorpio i think i got scorpio yesterday too i'm not sure um and mars here well i think mars is supposed to be something like that i can't remember but mars I just know that's Mars. Oh, Mars is up. Venus is down. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Y'all know I'm trying to be self-taught. But um, let me pray first before we get into this. Dear my loving and most highest vibrational angels, ancestors, spirits, guides, totems, and guardians, I ask that you clarify this message for me through me. Cover me in the whitest light from the highest vibration as I deliver this message to my collective gratitude, gratitude, and gratitude. All right. So it's the fourth. Y'all know this is the new moon in Scorpio. So I'm feeling like that's why Scorpio is out here. Um, it is a perfect time to, um, since this is Scorpio season, it is the season of death and rebirth. It is a, a, a very good time to um, connect with your ancestors, um, to you know cleanse and recharge your crystals, um, to call in new abundance. New moons are for calling in the new. Uh, full moons are for shedding and cleansing, 222, two, two, I just saw in the timer. So I feel like this is more or less talking about like connecting with your ancestors, communicating with them, tapping in um, with, to your spirit guides and letting them help you take action, aggressive action for whatever it is that you want in your life. Um, so things, you know, basically happen instantaneously almost for you. Um, I do have my ancestor enchantment candle here lit. Um, I dressed it and made it myself. Um, it's got a uh, raw amethyst in there. I've got uh, certain flowers and herbs and all types of stuff in there. Um, check it out. It's on my website. I'm not going to get into that, but it's my ancestor enchantment candle. So, um, yeah, because I've been feeling like the ancestors are like, hey, we want to talk. You know, it is death rebirth season. <laughs> so let's see what we got going on here. But look, rebirth, winter, and I'm not going to take these oracle cards in reverse. These are the yin yang oracle. Rebirth is here. Winter. The rebirth card is the winter card because during the winter time, things do die out um, to prepare for the spring, for a rebirth, for a new. That could also indicate something that's happening between now. Um, Scorpio season, death and rebirth season, and the winter because it is still autumn, it is still fall. People are still uh, reaping their harvest. Um, so something that's going to happen between now and winter. Okay. We have regret, repression. I've got like bits and pieces of pumpkin over here from ritual. <laughs> Pumpkin flying all over the place. <laughs> okay. We have the rejection, loss, and fragmented card. Let me get one more, please. And we have Pluto, transformation. And Pluto is the ruling planet of Scorpio. Um, that's eighth house. That's death and rebirth, transformation energy. So, um, There may be some people that you had to um, leave behind or that you had to lose. Um, you know, the relationship was broken or, you know, the situation just it wasn't it anymore, wasn't working for you anymore. And I feel like they have like a level of regret 
um, for not seeing you your transformation for what it was. I feel like a lot of people may have been trying to tell you like you're ch you've changed or you're changing, but that's what happens during a transformation. Don't let anybody make you feel bad for changing or for being a better you. If your spirit guides are telling you to do something and it feels uncomfortable, um, like, you know, you can't be around this certain person or this certain family member anymore, or you can't do certain things for certain people anymore, um, because it's really holding you back or slowing you down. You know, what's for you is for you, but you're, it, it's slowing you down from getting it. Like it's going to be on pause until you get that shit together. Um, and I feel like maybe people have tried to gaslight you or make you feel guilty for needing to do better for yourself, but it's okay. Um, because the ancestors are asking you to tap in. They're saying you're not alone, okay? Um, don't feel that loss as being rejected out of that friend group or from that job or from the family or anything like that because you're not. They're the ones being rejected by the ancestors for pulling the bullshit that they pulled, especially if they were trying to use ancestral energy. Or pretend like they was I heard <laughs> all right so we had the four swords right here that's Libra energy we have the knight of swords Gemini energy okay so like I said there was a level of betrayal um I feel like it's like maybe y'all have gotten to that last little corner of grass and you finally saw that last snake. I've been talking about this for a couple of weeks. It's like there's a snake in tall grass. There's tall grass with a snake in it. There's somebody that's just not in your corner. Um, you know, yeah, you've done a purge and dumped out a lot of people, friends, family, ideals, you know, ways of life, habits, things that, that you've changed about yourself. Um, and I feel like this was a rapid change, but I feel like this person was like low key hating, to be honest that maybe that they weren't changing as fast as you or that they weren't changing at all, you know? Or, you know, a, a lot of times narcissists don't like to admit that they even need to change, so. Definitely dealing with somebody that was on the low about um, how they felt for real. Uh, we have the Hermit card here, that's Virgo energy. We have the Ace of Cups. Um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Six of Swords. So we have healing energy. The Ace of Cups is a is a new start, a brand new beginning. We know after death is rebirth. That's regeneration. That's restorative energy here. And the Six of Swords is about divine guidance forward. When the Six of Swords is Aquarius energy. The Nine of Swords down here is Gemini energy. That is worry. That is stress. That is um, you know, things being mentally um, tacking. And that could just be the, the long list of things that you have to do. You know what I'm saying? That can be just the stress from the situation or that could just represent, um, you know, what facilitated this whole change. It was just, you know, things were getting, you were up in your head a lot. Things were getting a little stressful. Um, you know, you felt like people were stressing on you, like you weren't doing enough for yourself or, or for within. You just felt like out of place. And um, the ancestors have guided you toward uh, healing, toward a fresh new beginning, toward a fresh new start. They told you what you had to do. They showed you who you had to cut out. Some of those energies were very, very tricky, though. They cloaked themselves. Oops. Oh, and that almost went in the fire. You see that? That's what I'm saying. They cloaked themselves as being very wise, as being very spiritual. But they were still just broken, unhealed on the inside. Watching you heal. Um, we have third eye at the bottom of this deck for clarity. And we have ten of swords. Yeah, you got clarity on who the fuck that snake was. And you cut them the fuck out of your life. Um, you could have even gained clarity on anyone that was doing something. Because this right here is repeated mental manipulation. Repeated mental stress. Like over and over and over again. Like... Maybe you didn't recognize that this person had been doing that because you just didn't recognize that energy. You didn't. You know, maybe you still had a little bit of that energy within yourself. But once you healed that part of yourself that was fragmented still, you were able to recognize that in that person. And this may have been somebody. Yeah, the moon card here. It was revealed. 
you, the, the Piscean energy. It may have been revealed in that person, you know, when you started healing that part of you. You didn't see it when that part of you was still unhealed. And when you started to heal that part of you and the ancestors, your guides and stuff was pointing it out like, no, <laughs> it's still one more to go. And this was probably the one that hurt. You know, they like to say the best for last. We got the eight of wands right here. Repeated behavior. The eight of wands is repeated behavior. Let me read the book on this one. They saying uh, read the book on that one. Even though I know what eight of wands means, we're going to read it anyway. This is the African-American tarot deck. Um, I've used this uh, a few times. I mainly use it off camera, but um, let's see. Eight of Wands is Eshu, God of Communication and Messengers. So like I said, third house right here, third house um, came out on the astrological dice. That's communication. Um, this Eight of Wands here could have been messages over and over and over again. Like this person could have just been a serial texter, <laughs> bothering your ass, worrying your ass, stressing your ass the fuck out. Um, emotional as hell with the moon energy right here um or this person could have sent some sort of um energy toward you during the last full moon um for some of you and that could have even been something that you did during the last full moon maybe you received some sort of download um you know to go ahead and cleanse and purge yourself of a certain energy and that helped you to weed through uh those that were around you and figure out who was the snake <laughs> who was the snake but uh eight of wands is Eshu, god of communication and messengers nigeria uh and james beckworth that's uh this person up here on the mountain in the back these pictures usually have um someone of historical reference on them as well as a deity um, but we have travel, messages, rapid decisions, problem solving, opportunities, associations of ideas, sudden events, and love at first sight. So, yeah, <laughs> all of that. The God of communication. And that shit was coming in rapidly, too. It was like, no, you have to do this. I feel like there may have been a time where it was some stuff that was swept under the rug or kept in the dark here with the moon. But at the end of the day, like right now, now is the time. Scorpio season, rebirth season, Pluto transformation season. Like right now, the divine, the spirit guides and ancestors are saying like, no, now's the time to change. We've revealed it to you. We, we handed it to you on a silver fucking platter. This person, she will do anything for the money and the power and the fame right now. She will <laughs> do it for the realest motherfucker in the game. <laughs> I mean, and real recognize real. Fake recognize real too. That's why they be wanting to cuddle up against it. And they try to emulate it and mimic it just so they could get next to it. And But they can't keep up the, the they can't keep up the facade for but so long. Y'all know that. So we have the uh, Ace of Cups being clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, okay, and the Queen of Cups. See, the Queen of Cups here is um, feminine. She is, uh, you know, an emotional p person uh, that's Cancerian energy. But she right here, oh my goodness, very, very, very intuitive, um, very empathetic. She is an empath because she uses her emotions um, and she's very emotional. She can tap into the emotions of others. But she knew that there was a brand new abundant beginning that was being handed to her, that was being gifted to her. And the only way to get this new beginning was to go with the flow, follow the divine, follow the ancestors. We have the hermit card right here again with the Ten of Pentacles clarifying the Six of Swords. That don't get no more ancestor. <laughs> that it don't get no more ancestor guidance than that look at the ancestor she's watching over here from behind the tree watching everything that this person does guiding watching carefully okay the hermit card right here uh giving wisdom And Hermit card and Ten of Pentacles are both Virgo energy. So you could have Virgo or someone around you could have Virgo in their chart. But I feel like this Virgo in energy is being led um, by their ancestors toward greatness. It is their destiny. This person operates on a vibration of love here with the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Cups being right here. Um, and then we know the Six of Swords, they are in water. That is emotion You're going from very rough rocky term tumultuous 
emotions all over the place, very choppy, um, to, you know, smooth sailing. Like, yeah, it is emotional because the Ace of Cups is also talks about an outpouring of emotion. Um, yes, there's a lot of emotion when it comes to loss um, and things like that. But um, I'm feeling like with the rejection card right there, the rejection was your protection. You being rejected out of friend groups, out of family groups, them, you know, maybe talking shit about you. The ones, the same ones that want to come back. After they see, oh shit, maybe she was onto something. Yeah, maybe she was. Maybe she wasn't just acting funny. Maybe she was changing for the better. Yeah, maybe she was. We have the Six of Cups right here being clarifi clarifying the Four of Swords, the Scorpio energy. Yeah, them rejecting you was your protection. That's when your ancestors came in and was like, boom, all right, we got you. Now we can do this. Now you can work with us. Now you can see now you can really see you know what i mean um zoom out we had the king of cups right here with the six of cups and the four of swords so someone from your past um or someone who has since the past uh divine counterpart here king and queen of cups has been helping you to heal helping you to move on um the king of cups and the queen of cups um because i also sometimes use these cards during my ancestor divination too so that could be um you know, a couple um, that has passed over, you know, grandparent couple or parent couple, mother, father, or just people who raised you. Um, but I'm feeling more or less like they're talking about, um, let's see, what are they talking about? Clarify the Knight of Swords, because that's, that's movement forward, out of there, you know, for healing. No regrets. No, no holding back. Oh gosh, we got three aces right here. When I talk about brand new beginning, we ain't even in the death part. The death part was during Libra season. We in the rebirth part. <laughs> and whoever got left behind during <laughs> Libra season, <laughs> they might be trying to come back. Look, we got the Six of Swords. Oh, now. Wow, that's crazy because clarifying the Six of Swords right here is the Hermit. And clarifying the Hermit right here is the Six of Swords. So moving on. Everybody going in their own direction. Everybody being led. Uh you know out of troubled water but like i said i felt like um this other hermit card up here was the sneaky one that was the person that was trying to disguise themselves as being um wise so that they could kind of like ride your coattails so to speak um like look at me i'm wise too i can tap into that type of thing and everybody can tap in it's just a lot of people don't like to hone in on it a lot of people don't like to do the shadow work that comes along with it so they be kind of like fake it till you make it like yeah we all get those gut feelings but are you really tapping into that shit are you really listening to that shit so like i said this uh fake ass hermit over here being clarified by the six of swords but the six of swords in this deck is funny because the six of swords in this deck is like you know smooth sailing it's you know the guide wearing white with the person in red being guided forward the hermit card looks all wise and noble this six of swords here their guide looks dark demonic evil <laughs> like wait a minute who are you being guided by i don't know what ancestor you being guided by over here my guy but that ain't it tower they found out they was being led guided and tricked by lower vibrational ancestors <laughs> either that or that's who they was calling on and they knew that they was calling on that they vibration ain't high enough like I said, when they rejected you, your high vibrational ancestors, angel spirit guys, it was like, come on, baby. Come on. We got this brand new start for you. Libra right here. Like I said, during Libra season, it started. Knight of Swords. This facilitated during Libra season. It started. That's what popped it off. You getting your justice. Karmic justice season popped all this shit off. Death to everybody that no longer served your ass rebirth to a whole new energy and possibly even a new partnership a divine partnership you may have even met somebody um here that you are going to go into partnership whether that be business partnership or um you know a love partnership whatever type of partnership or union that you have coming together both of y'all are, are on the same level y'all vibrating the same y'all here with it all right with this um 
king of cups right here and queen of cups and six of cups doesn't always have to be nostalgic or something from the past or anything like that um but this could also be it can be this king of cups he has healed his childhood wounds as well with the four of swords being right there and the six of cups but that could also be someone um who is giving um on an equal level that could also be a gift from the universe um you know, emotional, e emotionally equal give and take, unlike the Six of Pentacles, you know, that's like on a physical form. But uh, yeah, somebody who's going to be there for you emotionally, somebody who's got your back, somebody who is healed and you can tell that they are healed and that they have healed. They have a lot to offer you. Because you can't offer, it's like um, whatever snake in the grass that y'all cut out, like I said, this person pretended, but they were so good at hiding in that tall grass. Look at all these trees around them. They were so good at hiding in that tall grass. Um, I feel like because they also had the same, you know, it, it may have not have happened the same, but they may have had the same type of childhood wound that was unhealed in you. And when you healed that recently, it flipped a switch in you and it made you look at this person and every time you healed something in you that was unhealed in that person, it made you regret even dealing with them in the first place. But the ancestors never re rejected you. This person or these people may have, or you may have felt rejected at one point, but like I said, that was for the, your protection. You had third eye clarity. You knew who to cut out, who was not there for you, who was backstabbing you, who was betraying you. We have the fool right here. Fresh new energy again. Aries energy. We have the, the wheel of fortune right here. The end of a cycle. So you may have just ended another cycle with somebody. But it's okay. We have the two of wands right here. That's a decision. to uh, Making a decision to uh, move forward. To continue uh, on your journey. Uh, to be divinely led. Divinely guided. To drop all these burdens. The last of that burden has been dropped with the Ten of Wands being right here. That Sagittarius energy. Um, you could have that in your chart. So you may have just completely dropped um, all your burdens. You're ready to revamp. You're ready to restart. You may have, you know, like I said, business partnerships. You may have businesses that you need to restart here with the Ten of Pentacles. It could have something to do with generational wealth, ancestral wealth. But either way, this is a brand new beginning with the full three aces being out here. The Sun card, the Wheel of Fortune, all about endings two tens being out here all about endings and new beginnings here all about endings and new beginnings all right let me get some spirit cards out here these are my spirit cards that i made i know they have like reflective words on them y'all probably can't really see them but uh, congratulations on your transformation it is hard it's mentally taxing it's physically taxing um, it, it may even seem repetitive. Like again, I got to cut somebody out of my life again. <laughs> um, there's always memories that came out in the reverse. So it's like, you don't even want to hold the memory of whatever you had with this person. Um, you know, but that also could mean because, um, for me this with this arrow pointing to the left, that could be in the past. There's always memories that you're just going to leave in the past. Like it is what it is. You know, so th these person or people was here for a reason and a season even if that season was the last 20 30 40 something years of your life that was the season you got the lesson out of it keep it fucking pushing there's going to be you know sense of loss but look at all this beautiful new abundant beginning you got coming here i'd rather have the new beginning <laughs> I, I, I prefer to go through tower moments and transformations to get to new beginnings because I always know that the divine and my ancestors have something way better for me on the other side. All right. We have you never know because you don't. They're not going to tell you what you got on the other side. You have to go through a series of tests to see if you actually want it, if you feel as you're deserving. And I feel like you guys tapped into your self-worth. You know your self-worth. And you was just like, fuck it. I'm going to go for it. Leap of faith. Fool card. <laughs> we got smoke leaves. Why does card always want to come out? They always be trying to tell on me. <laughs> smoke leaves. Tap in. Smoke leaves. I don't know what it is that y'all do to tap in, but smoke some leaves if you do. <laughs> 
Um, but that could be, you know, cigar smoke. I don't know what it is about smoke and um, allowing the ancestors to come through. But um, you don't even have to like inhale. Sometimes they do like, you know, as offerings, the tobacco. If you do smoke and you bust down guts on cigars, take you take the tobacco, put it in a bowl, sit it on your altar or something like that, or use the tobacco leaves for divination, something. But it's something to do with the smoke. You know, you could burn the tobacco, have the smoke there, or you could just have the uh, cigar burning while you're divinating or tapping in. Um, but it's something about the smoke because um, I've been getting that card a lot lately and I really just don't think that they're just like, yeah, smoke weed, get high, you know. <laughs> but we have butterfly, butterfly. So you're mirroring. Your inside is mirroring your outside and that is mirroring back to you energetically. What you're putting out is coming back to you. Um, here we have let's smile. So I feel like you guys, like I said, when I saw the sun card. Bye, babe. You got your mask and everything? Have a good day. Um, let's smile beautiful abundant beginnings um new cycles coming in here because my let's smile card i put a uh moon cycle at the top of it so i feel like let's smile you have a lot of new beautiful happy cycles um coming in you've turned the tables um and you flip the script you're mirroring exactly who you want to be um they wish they could be you like i said with the hermit card and the six of swords they fake phony fraud they're not healed at all. They're following some lower level demonic shit over here. And it ain't doing nothing but causing them towers over there. It was causing you towers trying to follow that shit too. But now your towers are new beginning. Your towers are justice. Your, your towers are unstoppable, fast communication with the divine on point. You don't have to light a fucking candle to tap in. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do you, try so hard or do anything like that. You could just that's it all day every day you're tapped in you do definitely still have to cleanse and all that other stuff i'm saying i'm not saying don't ever light candles y'all get what i'm saying though you if you know you know we have here you would be a sweet surrender so uh, this person oh and that fell out over the moon card the nine of swords and the eight of wands this person could have tried to sacrifice you i am going to go there for some of y'all i do have to go there for some of y'all because they're telling me to say it this person may have to even try to sacrifice some of y'all so they could take over you. So they could be like you with this butterfly here. My butterfly card is a mirroring card. Butterfly this way, butterfly that way. So somebody may have actually tried to mirror you, pretend to be your divine counterpart when really they were a karmic twin flame. But you never know. You never know is right there. <laughs> you never know. Tap in and ask. They're there for you. They're asking you to. Like I said, go to my website, get the ancestor enchantment set. This comes as just the candle or it comes with the set. Um, you can look up there. Actually, I'm going to post it on my Instagram um, today. We have extreme aestheticism and intense life. So get ready because your life is about to be very intense. It's about to be very aesthetic for you. Uh, divine partnerships, whether that be in love, friend groups, star family, you're going to start coming into um, contact with um, moving forward, equal um, give and take on a on a soul level. So you're about to come into your soul family using your third eye all the time. Your ancestors want y'all to tap in. It's time to go. <laughs> All right. If nobody told y'all today, I'm going to tell you. I love you. Peace.